All right, today I wanted to go over the transmission cooler, coolant lines, uh, trans cooler, radiator, fans, uh, the fan relay uh, kit that I used, and uh, part numbers. So here we go. I will say before you get your engine and transmission all bolted up and everything to put the coolant lines, uh, connect your coolant lines to the transmission. I had mine all connected kind of like you see now. And I had to drop everything to get the coolant lines put in. So there's a top and a bottom port on a 4L60E. Uh, the bottom is your pressure line uh, coming out. That's the hot fluid coming out uh, to your cooler. Uh, then the top one is uh, going going back in. So uh, these two lines here are my coolant lines coming from my transmission. They go uh, down there and then um, probably won't be able to see them too well. And then go along uh, underneath the tunnel there. So they come out. Um, like I said, that bottom port comes out and goes into the top port of my radiator. Uh, then from the bottom of the radiator, I've got a U, uh, a 180-degree fitting. These are 6AN lines. Uh, so let's see if we can show you the fitting down there, maybe. Let's get the... Let's see if we can get the camera down. There we go. So there's the fitting, the U-fitting. Um, that basically wraps around here. Comes up into this uh, uh, Hayden uh, trans cooler. And I'll put the part numbers for the cooler. I'll put the part numbers for some of these fittings and lines and then my radiator. And then from, your, from the trans cooler, goes back, goes up there. And goes back to the transmission so bottom port top of the uh, radiator bottom port to the cooler from the cooler back to the transmission so this is a champion radiator this is actually a fourth gen Camaro radiator and I went with the fourth gen Camaro radiator because I wanted the cooler I want the trans line hookup. So a lot of the LS swap radiators don't have the trans cooler, which I didn't really need it. I could have just went straight with the trans cooler, but I wanted to use both just to have that peace of mind cooler. Um, and it has the steam port as well because, uh, it's, you know, it's from the fourth gen from the 98 uh, O2 Camaros. Um, only, the only bad thing is this one has a coolant left coolant sensor um, level coolant level sensor that's supposed to go in that plug I just put a cap on it um, with a clamp and I don't know that it's going to work very well I may have to get an actual plug that goes inside there to plug that that port because I don't need coolant level um, steam port uh, I have the motion race works four port uh, steam steam kit um, and it, it is a pretty nice kit so I ran 4AN uh, fitting in line to this now the the nipple there from the radiator had like a had like the nipple on there but I cut it off and, and used a uh, compression fitting um, and I've tightened it up once but uh, still barely leaking eh, barely I need to keep an eye on it tighten it up um, I may have to go a different route. I just wanted the nice look of AN lines. Um, uh, coolant overflow. Um, that line I've just wrapped around here. Uh, it's just ran over the top. Oh, that's my wires for my headlights. Over the top of the cooler over to here I did drill a little hole in right there to the overflow tank here and I got this on Amazon I think it's an evil energy brand um, it's about three inches I think it's eight inches or so tall um, I've just got the clamp it came with this clamp here and uh, just clamped it through one of the holes that's already in the in the car hold it in there the top one's got a zip tie around it it 
this sucker's not going anywhere I can't even move it but uh, that's my little overflow over there um, fans I got two 12 inch uh, electric fans uh, spall I'll put the part numbers that I used uh, that I'm using uh, in the description and then the fan shroud I got from Speedway Motors uh, the fans I uh, can't remember uh, what site I got them from but like I said they're the spall fans Oh, if I could get down there. There. Uh, now, for the fans, the fan relay, I got from Scram Speed. It's in Muhammad, uh, Illinois. Uh, the relay is actually behind the battery. Um, you probably can't see it. It's a little box. About... Uh, three to four inches by about three to four inches um, I just screwed it behind the battery here um, it has basically four wires um, it's got one it's got two separate wires obviously for fan one and fan two they're kind of bundled together nice and neat um, and then there's a ground coming off of it and I've grounded it underneath um, the car then you got one wire which was long enough to go from the box there all the way through my uh, and through the firewall over uh, uh, under the dash or behind the dash I guess over to the fuse box uh, so they give you plenty of wire and that's the ignition uh, wire for the, the fans the ignition on um, and then there's obviously you know your hot um, power for it uh, has two fuses and then there's also the wire that goes to your coolant temp. And so mine's right there. Uh, so there's the coolant temp uh, sensor. Plug one, two, two separate plugs uh, for two different temperatures. Everything's labeled. Um, not sure if I can get that turned. Uh, yes, right there. Says switch. So your wires are nice and labeled, kind of like the Holly Terminator uh, wires are. So that basically reads the temperature 180 and I think uh, a little over 200. I can't remember exactly what the temp is. And it'll kick one or both fans on. So it's kind of nice. That's a standalone kit, doesn't hook up to a computer or anything. Now I will say I got the Holly Terminator X Max. Uh, ECU um, and none of my gauges are working on the dash and I haven't even got to that far yet um, I got the radiator um, bracket here uh, let's see it's in a box somewhere so I got this off uh, online of course you can buy really cheap ones uh, Chinese ones from Amazon or eBay this one came from uh, 9k uh, I think it's 9k motorsports I'll, I'll leave the description, leave it in the description, but uh, made by a guy in, I think, North Carolina. So, like I've said in past videos, if I could buy U.S. made uh, and a lower shop or a single guy making these, I'd rather support that and maybe spend, you know, 10, 20 bucks and not send my money to China. So, this is a nice piece. I may trim it a little bit. Um, there's kind of... I'll scoot it down just a little bit so you can kind of get the idea. This is a three-row sanded. Uh, I'm probably going to paint it body collar maybe. I was thinking either body collar or black. Uh, so I'll just move that down there like that. But I may I may notch around the cap and move it move it down just about oh half inch. Uh, my OCD will bother me, you know, that needs to move over a little bit. But it looks like these holes are almost drilled if you, if I move it up, you know, let's see here. You know, that hole's almost matching up there if you wanted to leave it something like that and, and put it down on there. So, I just, like everything else, you kind of fab it up, customize it. 
make it work or look how you want. So like I said, this is a three core, fourth gen Camaro radiator. It says it's rated up to like 450, 650, I think maybe 650 horsepower, which definitely not gonna be there. Um, compared, you know, this is about three inches you know, with the fan shroud, three inches. So like I said, it's about three, oh, let's see here. With the shroud, about three inches. Now I'm just like, what? Oh, my son taking off in the wife's car. Bye. Let's see how long, I think it's 29 inches. about there it's about 29 inches wide and I think it's about 19 18 18 and a half inches tall so compared to my factory v6 this had a 2.8 liter in it this is awesome this thing is like an inch wide um, it's about the same width, um, about 28, and the new one's about 29, 28 and a half there, so um, height is almost 19 inches, so the new one's just thicker, um, maybe a little bit wider, uh, but it fit down in there. Um, these are the, the factory little grommet uh, rubber bushings. For the bottom i may trim off it's it's pretty wide because this is for the ac condenser to fit in the front uh, so it's got to look a little notch in the in the center there and i may just cut it off flat so it sits down a little bit uh, a little better um, same one with the side i'll trim it uh, trim it down as well you can't really see it you can almost see there the brightness messed up but all right um how i man mounted the trans cooler on the front of the radiator the radiator already had these brackets and i'm guessing maybe it's for the fourth gen ac condenser had these little um, brackets already welded in there's one there one up there there's one on the bottom over here but the one on the top on this side was way up there um, you can see the, the bracket there almost like this one so I went and got me some aluminum pieces these are like three quarters inch aluminum strips they come in like six or eight foot length uh, I just cut it down bent it bent this over uh, cut the length to go across um, this one here you know put it in there come across didn't have anything to mount to there oh sorry didn't have anything to mount to so I took this strip all the way up to that top bracket um, it goes all the way up there just so I could connect this something and then I mounted the, the cooler to that and it's got some flex I don't know if you could see but it does not hit the radiator at all it's just aluminum so uh, I like how it fit there. Well, I think that's about it for the transmission cooler radiator. Um, I use the 4th gen hoses as well. This is the 4th gen Camaro hose. The top one as well. Um, it's kind of got like a little bend right there and goes downhill from here over. I don't know if I can see from over here. Let's see. Uh, you can kind of tell there which was kind of nice because it gave me room for my uh, cold air intake tube to kind of go along the side uh, and uh, yeah it worked out pretty good uh, the cold air intakes from it's from uh, speed engineering uh, same place I got the long tube headers the engine 7 8 headers are speed engineering so I got this from speed engineering as well um, and it, it fit pretty good. I just had to I had this 
coupler here in the center came with two different ones depending on your map sense map sensor uh, this one has the manifold air temp sensor mat sensor um and i just had to buy a different grommet uh, to get the sensor to plug into the hole and you can't see it's on the bottom side of this but uh, a little off topic but uh, there it is like subscribe questions comments i'll try to put all the part numbers for the fittings part numbers for the trans cooler the tra um, radiator um, the coolant lines their cp cpfe i think it is um, i think i got them from amazon they're evil energy they seem to be pretty good so far i haven't really taken it out and driven it around uh, it has been ran you know off and on for uh, tuning like i said leave comments questions below thanks for watching